Hey nurse family, Nurse Erica here, and today in this video, I'm gonna show you how to withdraw a medication from an ampule. Now, I... All right, so the first thing that I'm gonna do is just gather the supplies that I need to administer the medication. And for today, I have a 3cc syringe. And I have a blunt needle. A blunt needle is a needle that we use to withdraw medication from a vial. We do not use this to inject into a patient. It's very um, thick in diameter. It's an 18 gauge needle, okay? But the unique thing about this blunt needle is that it has a filter in it. So some of you, one of the students specifically mentioned that all of the videos that she has seen has a filter straw and that she doesn't have a filter straw in her facility. So you can use a filter straw when withdrawing from an ampule or you can use a blunt needle with a filter. Regardless, the needle that you use to withdraw the medication should have a filter. And the reason for that being, this is a glass ampule, and yes, glass shards can fall into your medication ampule. Your facility might have one of these little handy dandy ampule breakers. It basically goes over the neck of the ampule when you twist it. But for the sake of the video today, I'm gonna to use you, I'm gonna show you what we commonly use, which is just a two by two or a four by four gauze. Because I know that these ampules break a lot, I'm going to use the four by four gauze today. And it is very important to be careful because I do have a colleague who cut her finger um, opening an ampule and had to have stitches. So we do wanna be careful. Of course, we always need, um, our antiseptic swabs, whenever we're gonna withdraw from a vial or an ampule, we're gonna wanna clean the ampule. We need some hand sanitizer and we need some regular clean gloves. Now withdrawing medication, you don't typically need gloves when you're withdrawing medications, but with an ampule, just me personally, I feel safer wearing gloves because I feel like it's an added protection against the glass, okay? So you follow your facility policy on whether or not gloving is appropriate, um, but today I'm gonna put on gloves. All right, so let's get a closer look at what we have here. Okay, so the first thing that I'm gonna do is perform hand hygiene and make sure that I my hands are clean. I'm gonna put on a set of clean gloves. This is not a sterile procedure, it's a medical aseptic procedure, so we're going to grab an alcohol swab and clean the ampule I've already checked the ampule and it looks good. Um, it's not expired and everything is okay. So whenever you're using an ampule, and this is what the ampule looks like, this is the neck of the ampule. So this is where we're essentially going to be breaking the top of the ampule. Well, this one, I don't know if you can tell on the video, but this one has medication on the cap. So all I'm going to do is go ahead and flick that and you can see it just goes right to the bottom. So I've cleaned the neck of my ampule. While that's drying, I'm gonna go ahead and grab a syringe. And today I have a three milliliter syringe because I'm gonna withdraw um, one and a half cc's. And then I'm going to use my blunt needle, which I showed you earlier, and you see that it says it has a filter. Some blunt needles do not have a filter, so make sure you have one with a filter. And now I'm ready. I can put this down because it's covered, so I'm gonna put this down on my surface, and I'm going to grab my four by four gauze. And there's this little dot there, so that's where I'm gonna put my thumb. And very important, I'm going to snap the cap away from me okay don't want to snap it towards you make sure that the cap is completely covered and so you heard that snap and this actually broke pretty nicely okay sometimes these can break a little bit unevenly but this one looks pretty good so what I'm gonna do with this is okay hopefully you said put it in the sharps container so I'm gonna go ahead and put it in my sharps container because it is a sharp now, here's the cool thing about ampule. I'm gonna invert it, and you can see that my medication does not actually come out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to 
I don't need to withdraw air. Remember when we were withdrawing from a vial? We withdrew air because there was pressure in the vial, so we're taking that air out. We're not going to do that with the ampule. All I'm going to do is remove my cap. I'm going to put it while the, while the ampule is still upright. I'm going to put my syringe inside. I'm going to turn the ampule around, making sure that my bevel is in the actual fluid line. So let's give you that closely. So you see if my bevel's over here, I'm just going to get air. And that's a common problem. Sometimes my students go to give a medication and they give air um, to the mannequin, not to a real patient. Um, so want to make sure my bevel's in. And now I'm going to slowly pull on the plunger. And I'm going to take a little bit more than what I want. I, so I said that I wanted 1.5. I'm going to take a little bit more so that I can withdraw any air that I have. Okay, so now I'm done with this. Now, if I didn't scan the medication yet, I don't want to discard that, so be careful. I'm going to scoop up the cap using the one hand scoop method. Okay, and I'm going to now push the air out of my syringe. So I'm going to go up to, we said, 1.5. So there you go. I have 1.5 milliliters. And now I'm going to keep this on. If I was going to be giving this medication IV push, I'm going to keep the blunt needle on because it is protecting my syringe. If I was going to give this IM or sub Q, now I can go ahead and change my needle and put the appropriate needle because remember this is a blunt needle. So this is not the needle that I'm going to use to inject in my patient. I only use this because it had the filter to prevent any glass shards from getting into the ampule. So I would change my needle and this would go into the sharps container. All right, so that's how you withdraw a medication from an ampule. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please go ahead and give me a like and maybe even send it to a friend. Um, if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I'm posting.